Here we go, I'm a Sense Gamer fan, so we're gonna try and go. We're gonna go to the construction site with our burner phones that we have. We're gonna try to lure them out and see who's actually. Who's actually in charge, so. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on where there's a lot of moving parts and a lot of people that are involved that we don't really know about yet. We're getting towards the end of it. So here, let's head that way and see what we can uncover. Make sure you subscribe and then uh, hit that like button so we can have a lot of people see our videos. We're trying to build our channel as much as we can. Definitely appreciate the support all the people that we have that are supporting us. Hopefully soon the people that will continue to, more people that will support us in the future. This must be the construction set Sukumo was talking about. Yagami Sheep, I've confirmed your position. Yeah, I think I can spot whoever comes close from here. I'm gonna call Kawana on the burner now. Understood. It's Kawana. You ready? I'm about to call Reiko Kusumoto. Once you're connected, you take it from there. It's been five years since I last spoke to her. Yeah. yeah. Can't imagine yeah, this won't be awkward. awkward. I know. I know. Okay. Okay. Do it. Do it. There we go. Is Rico. Rico. That's kind of weird that he's calling her after five years. You think she'd be like, who is this? Yes, yes. Hello. hello. This is Kitakata from Kurokawa Academy. Academy. What? what? You'll have to forgive yeah. me for this, but the position, the position I'm in required me to reach out to you. I would never have done this otherwise. I should also know. There's a high probability this phone call is being tapped. I see. Very well, then. It's been 13 years, Kusumoto-san. So it has. Kitakata-sensei. I've read about your accomplishments. To think you'd become a vice minister. You never really know how things are going to work out. Ah, uh, but that's not true at all, Kusumoto-san. You were always destined to move up in the world. I've got to be honest with you. A woman as virtuous and as capable as you deserves the world and then some. But, but how is Mitsuru -kun? I'm afraid he's still asleep. Nothing's changed. It's a long I time. I wish I had the words. What is it you wanted? If you've been watching the news, you've probably already heard. I've become a prime suspect for a crime. They think I murdered Yokosawa in her apartment. I heard. Obviously, it wasn't me who killed her, of course. Do you happen to remember Sawaku by any chance? The girl from your class. She was the only one of those students who ever came to visit Mitsuru. But even then, that yes. At least ten years now. I got a letter from her once. She wanted to tell me she'd become a teacher. But I never did reply. And that was the last I'd heard from her. I see. So back to my question. What do you want? I hope you weren't planning to ask me for a favor. I'm afraid the answer would be no. No, it's not that. It's just... I wanted to let you know that at some point, someone may come to you to ask a few questions about me. I thought I should give you a heads up. 
I'll make every effort to ensure they won't cause any trouble for you, Kusumoto-san. I'm sorry about this. I'll try to handle it from my side. So in your opinion, then, do you believe anything related to you could cause me any trouble? Don't worry. I'm sure you'll be just fine. Right. Here we go. Here comes the... Kill the headlights. Yep, here we go. The argument is like, I don't know who those guys are. Looks like we were right on the money. This proves Reiko Kusumoto's phone is compromised. And there's one organization capable of tracing a call and moving on it. It's got to be public security on the hunt for Kawana. Public security is really coming straight to you by car? Yeah, two no, cars. There's no way they could mobilize their people that quickly. My guess? It's got to be the prefectural police that they've got in their pocket. Or it's just RK. I will say it's been great to hear your voice again. But this should be the last time you ever hear from me. I'll try my best. I understand. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now the question is, is she involved? Did they tap her phone or has she made it so she... Be interesting to see what the reason is, like how they got there that fast. It's a drone. <laughs> it's a yeah, drone with the phone. Shoot it! Shoot it down! Are you sure? Uh, just take it down. Take it down. Hurry, it up. Hurry it up! Why do they want to shoot the? They got a terrible what the shot. Fuck are you aiming at? I can't hit it. It's too small. Shit! Way too many bullets, Damn, dude. dude. How the hell are we supposed to chase down a drone? And where the fuck is this Kiwana guy? Who knows, man? They called us in to catch this shithead, but how the hell are we supposed to do that? It's fucked up. Do we look like spec ops? Yeah, right? But at least you gotta shoot that thing. <laughs> this is my second time, actually. I took a few shots at some kids in a park. I aimed at the ground and sent those little shits running for their lives. <laughs> We're done here. Pack it in. That guy's an idiot. That's six punks and only one gun between you by my count. <laughs> that was awesome. You guys in charge. I'm sure Kawana would have had this whole thing solved a long time ago. Well, then again, I suppose. Yeah, these guys aren't very smart. That was my gun, asshole! It ain't any more. You may as well just level with me. You guys are RK's bottom rung, right? In the very bottom. <laughs> well, I guess we're not gonna be leaving here empty-handed after all. Come on! We're taking this guy in, boys! Fuck him up! Yeah. I love that one where he throws them into like two other people. It's like you have a bunch of people. That's like a perfect one to do. I guys block it too much. Let's see if I can flip him. Goodness gracious! What's going on there? Out of nowhere, that dude just started punching like crazy. I don't know what Goodness gracious, there we go. I thought the main guy was that one that I already beat. That guy right there seemed like he had a decent amount of help. There we go. Boom, defeat the arcade members. Who sent you here? The order came from the head honchos in RK. You mean Soma? Soma's gonna be. 
Not that high up. There's a bunch oh. of them. There's a, the muscle. What did they tell you to do once you found Kuwana? They just said to catch him. Well, they also made it very clear not to kill him. <laughs> like we pulled the trigger. We never even heard what our cut was. Just another Just useless, useless grunt. <laughs> Tell me, gentlemen, how would you feel if you found out you were just pawns in public security's game? Uh, we're playing what game now? I suggest you quit RK while you can. Go tell your buddies, get them out. That was awesome. He's like, we're playing what game now? He doesn't even know what he doesn't even know what the argument is talking about. Then you'll end up in a ditch. There's no crawling out of. Yes, yes. Pardon me. You would be Reiko Kusumoto, correct? Sir. It's a little late for this. And how'd you get in here in the first place? I've expressly forbid having visitors. This must be somebody very important if he can get in there. I'm a coordinator with the National Police Bureau, but I'm sure you're familiar with my division of public security. Bondo is my name, ma'am. Are you not? Well, I'm afraid coordinator is rather vain. I have a more public-facing title as well, of course. But I'm trying to be discreet here, so let's not get bogged down with minor details. It's in our best interests. The buzzer, I get out of there. I'm afraid that we know. I've already seen to that. Uh-oh. What is this? It's a question I need answered with some urgency, Kusumoto. It concerns the disappearance of a certain individual. Huh. About five years ago, a man vanished off the streets of Kamurocho. Uh oh. I'm sure you'll recognize him. A former classmate of Mitsuru could be here. Shinya Kawai. Oh. I she believe shouldn't have made that fade. You might know. I can say that with some level of certainty as a matter of fact. Well, that's not good. For her, at least. There we go, guys. So we finished the chapter. So she's definitely... They definitely got her in her crosshairs in their crosshairs now. Cause she did kill that guy according to Kawana. A shadow looms over Yagami and Kawana. Japan's National Intelligence Agency Public Security fixes its gaze on Reiko Kusumoto of the Ministry of Health. Five years ago. Kuwana prompted her to take revenge on Shinya Kawai for pushing her son to the brink. Secrets can only lie dormant so long, and upon their waking, chaos ensues. Chapter 11, Undercover. It's getting good, guys. Oh my gosh, I love this game. You've done it again, Sukumo. I can't believe you found it. <laughs> I figured Mitsuru Kusumoto would be in one of the better hospitals around the health ministry. That narrowed it down to just a few locations. Then I pinpointed the exact one through sheer determination. And that led you to Toto University Hospital. So Mitsuru is still lying in a coma there? Yep. Reiko Kusamoto has been visiting her son every night for the past 13 years. Even after she became Vice Minister. If you gentlemen want to meet her in person, that would be your best chance. Yagami, you seriously think you can convince Reiko Kusamoto to turn herself in? Well, I'll try at least. She's at the top of the food chain. The 
it comes out that she committed murder, the whole country's gonna lose it. If they hadn't tried to hide it, nobody else would have needed to pay for it. Sawa sensei. Yeah. You're right. And if she confesses to killing Kawhi, public security will run out of reasons to keep defending our camp. So in theory, that should free up the police to pursue Soma about Sawa sensei. Totally agree with you there. But Kawana-san's against that, right? Didn't he say he wouldn't let her turn herself in? Yeah. That's why he's not in the loop on this. So, you're just gonna show up? You do know she's probably surrounded by public security at all times, don't you? Just means we gotta be prepared for that. Like the professional detectives we are. Prepared? How? Just leave it to us. Yagami-san, I gotta go get ready. Let's meet at Let's Toto, meet Toto University, University Hospital. Hospital. Got it. Got it. See ya. See ya. <laughs> so what do you so need what from you me need in this Yagami? You got any old got acquaintances in RK? Okay. Think you can find out where Soma and Akatsu are? You forget who you're talking to? Why wouldn't I be able to cover that? I knew a few ex-Tojo guys who go in and out of RK on the regular. Thanks. Watch your back. If they find out you're spying on them, they won't like it. I'll be ready. Like the professional ex-Yakuza. See ya. <laughs> he's rough around the edges, but in the end, he comes through. Yeah. Turns out he's got extra time on his hands. Why don't you hire him at your office, Yagamishi? <laughs> I'll talk about that with Kaito-san once he recovers. Anyway, sorry, Tsukumo. We have to take Sukiura from you again. <laughs> Why start apologizing now? It's all good. We'll talk <coughs> about Tauto University sounds familiar. I wonder if that's the one from Like a Dragon. I almost think it is from Yakuza 7. I wonder if I can do any... Okay, I already did those two. Oh yeah, I'm in, I'm in uh, Camarocho, so I don't know. The only ones I can think of are the ones that are in uh, Ejincho, so I'll have to do those later. I'm down to like two main side cases, and then I've got a few other... I've got two actual main side cases that are on the game itself. The other ones are DLC and they involve the two girls. They were trying to romance or whatever. They were trying to get as your girlfriend. Because there's a total of four on this on this game with the DLCs. me a little bit. Oh, I love that one. The really guys, shoulder guys. tackle one there. Yeah, I thought there was a way to meet that one girl, but I don't see her. Where is she at? It's really weird that I can't find her. Sorry, people. Sorry, people, but you're kind of getting in my way. There we go. And then I got hit. Then I hit myself in the light pole.
Yeah, we better get over that hospital. Hopefully we can actually talk to her. You look that guy over there questioning her about murdering that guy. It's like me. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, that does look familiar. That's got to be the hospital I've seen before. It's like, please don't talk. Your phone is compromised. Hopefully she'll throw it. She just needs to throw it. Just throw your phone. So far, it's working out pretty good. What are you? What are you? The don't lock, worry. The lock box. I'll give it back to you after this. I'm sure it's bugged, sure it's bugged. and we wouldn't want anyone listening in now, would we? Huh. We'll take a few laps around the block, and then drop you back off at the hospital. Sorry, but we just need a bit of your time. Very well. Who are you, people? We're just local detectives. The Kitakata Sensei is an acquaintance of ours. We know about Mitsuruku. And we know that five years ago, a man named Shinya Kawai mysteriously disappeared and died. I have no huh. idea what you're saying. But you do. I know how this must come across right now. So I assure you, we aren't the ones posing a threat. Fine. What is it you want, then? All I want is the truth. In your own words. About Shinya Kawai. And how you carried out his murder. You're mistaken. I didn't do it. Is she lying to us already? What's going on here? The other day you received a call from Kitakata Sensei, didn't you? He goes by the name Kawana now and works as a handyman in Jinsho. He made that call because we needed to confirm something. Confirm what? Whether or not you were being watched by public security. And they were. And she was, I mean. Public security, you say? She surprised it all, or maybe she already had a hunch. As it turns oh, out, that you one are. guy did stop it. Your cell phone is bugged. It can even use GPS to trace who's on the other end of the line. That kind of trace is only possible with cooperation from the cellular providers. Unless you're public security, you could pull something like that off in secret. They want to hit you where you're vulnerable. And that's what you are now after Kuwana. Do you understand, Kusumoto-san? You must really be something special. You were never in this job for yourself. It fell into your lap as your predecessors fell like dominoes. That's why you don't owe anyone anything. You're free of constraints. And Mitsuru-kun's tragedy even gained you public sympathy on top of it. Combine all that with a capable bureaucrat like you? There's no telling what you could accomplish. You're cleaning up house, tackling the revolving door problem. Things you know are the right moves, but with no regard for the consequences. I understand even the cabinet gauges your opinion, since you have so much public support. But I think that's also made you some enemies. Most likely whoever's holding public security's leash. I have more than a few enemies. I'm well aware of that. And I have no doubt public security would comply with them. To be quite frank, public security only exists to maintain the status quo. The establishment is made up of various powers which control politics and finance. But naturally, each branch has its own agendas, goals, ideas of justice, which leads to all sorts of issues and hindrances, which you call constraints. The more individuals who make up society, the more unavoidable that is. Are you implying it's public security's job to loosen those constraints? There is more to it than that. The world we live in requires all kinds of value systems to coexist, even in chaos. But if you loosen the constraints too far, the fall of the state is inevitable. In that regard, 
Public security's role is to stabilize and maintain the state even while bound by constraints. In other words, the constraints of these powers are precisely what are protected by public security. So the fact that I am not caught up in all that does, indeed, make me something of a pesky foreign object. A pesky foreign object. I see. So to these establishment people, you're something to be excised. Hmm? I guess there's bullying among adults in high places, too. Yeah. Now we know why they were looking for any kind of weakness in you. And that's when they turned the spotlight on Shinya Kawai's disappearance. An event that was triggered by Akihiro Ohara's case. You know the one, I presume. Yes. An active duty policeman exacted revenge on the bully who drove his son to suicide. Your enemies must have heard that and thought to themselves, what would Reiko Kusamoto have done to her son's bully? I'm guessing that's what prompted public security to make their move. As the details of Ahara's case came to light, a group of thugs calling themselves RK started looking for Shinya Kawai, all to find out that he was kidnapped five years ago, probably killed. I never did anything out of revenge. Even after finding out Kawhi disappeared, public security still had to verify it. But if they found out you were involved, that'd be a win for them. They finally know Reiko Kusumoto's weakness. How long are you going to keep talking? As public security figured out, the bullying cases involving Toshiro Ihara and your son share a common link. That link being Sawa-sensei. She was Mitsuru-kun's classmate and Toshiro Ihara's teacher. Not only that, she was also linked to Ahara's murder victim, Mikoshiba. She was his master teacher. So, not long after the murder, RK came to Ijinsho and broke into her home. That must have been when they got Kawana's name out of her. I think Sawa Sensei suspected that Kawana was involved in Mikoshiba's murder. Then Soma steps in, with his professional interrogation skills, to beat and scare her into spilling everything. Kusumoto-san, you knew she was killed, right? Kawana should have told you over the phone. Wait, are you not one of his colleagues? He said he wouldn't cause me any trouble, and that he would never call me again. Kawana and I are competitors on a temporary ceasefire. We're not, we're not, <laughs> we're not colleagues. She's like, I don't know what to think anymore. She's been flustered since I met. She didn't saw what Sensei's name. I'll start with Is that anybody one. From I know that she was contacted you? by that one. Have you been approached by any strangers? That one guy, I would assume, was public security. I have my suspicions. What are their names? <sighs> I imagine what they wanted was to exploit your weakness to control you. Because if all they wanted was to eliminate you, some kind of accident would be easily arranged. Yes. I suppose you're right. The biggest problem I've noticed on these games these is after? they like to keep things sharing? pretty close to chest. They don't share very often. Let's what see if she actually will. The pension fund. Oh, there we go. She's under the health ministry's jurisdiction. Pension fund? An independent agency within the ministry manages the national pension fund. 160 trillion yen? It's taxpayer yen? funded. Oh. And it's worth 160 trillion yen. Me. What? <laughs> and certain groups want to wow. take bigger risks with that money in order to generate more profit. That's a lot of money. In other words, they want the health ministry to use taxpayer money to gamble. Huh. They believe that's the only way to rebuild Japan's faltering economy and secure the future of this country. I mean, would it work? Of course. If the gamble actually pays off. But if we lost the gamble, then we wouldn't be able to guarantee anything for the citizens of this country in their golden years. That's why the health ministry manages those funds conservatively, even if it means the returns are lower. Okay. I'm starting to understand now. 
You do? Don't leave me in the dust, Yagami-san. To be able to gamble all this taxpayer money to save the economy, they need a change of management. And here's Kusumoto-san, head of the office. And she's beyond the control of even the ministers. Her position has the power to take action, to override the way the pension fund is managed. But not only does Kusumoto-san have the power, she has the support of the people. If a new vice minister were to try it, they'd be stopped cold by the constraints. So that's why they wanted to find her weakness and exploit it? Exactly. And if the 160 trillion yen gamble were to fail, they can blame the whole thing on Kusumoto-san anyway. Okay. But wow. 160 trillion... <sighs> I'm guessing they've already contacted you about it? That's an assumption. How's your son doing now? He could wake up any minute now. Of course, that's been true for the last 13 years. I see. We transferred him to Toto University Hospital just this year, hoping they could spur his recovery. But it turns out they don't do anything much different from the previous hospital. All I can do is wait. Yeah, so there's a lot of details that are coming out. You killed in five years. The story's getting awesome. I love it. It just keeps ramping up and getting. There's always crazy things that happen towards the end of these games. Be towards Kauai, but was that really the only answer? If you've spoken to Kitakata Sensei, then you must know about the video of how Mitsuru was treated. I do. Yep, we see it. Aside from Kawhi, it wasn't very good. The other students pretended like nothing happened. They took no responsibility. They put on their sad faces, and they came to visit Mitsuru at the hospital. But looking back on it now, I don't think they really wanted Mitsuru to wake up. In that's, fact, yeah, they were probably checking on to see if he was actually out. gonna die or something. And what did I do? I still can't believe he has I a bowed up my us. head and thanked them. It was only That's later crazy. that Kitakata Sensei showed me the video. And that made her mad. That's what I knew. Yeah. That those kids going unpunished was wrong. And your solution was to pull them into the quagmire? Make them accomplices in murdering Kawai? If you already know so much, what more do you need to ask? I get it now. Let me reiterate. We are not your enemy. Then please, let me go. Anything you want me to tell Kawana? I do. He needs to run. Far away. Public security has their sights on him. His capture is not a question of if, but when. He's in danger if he remains in the country. And once public security has him, they will extract everything he knows. You mean he'd be tortured? Yes. Somewhere well beyond the public eye. 
No one can withstand what they do. He'd tell them everything. And as for me... They would expose your vulnerability, making you their pawn. Most likely. They'd gamble away the taxpayers' money, and I'd never purge the corruption in the health ministry. I get that. But what does it matter? What? Because in my opinion, you need to turn yourself in, Kusumaro-san. <laughs> you want me to admit to manslaughter? You think I killed a real man? <laughs> I say he was less than one. Wow. She's... Eesh. He was little more than a subhuman brute. We saw, we saw but it still doesn't justify taking a lie. Yeah, we did. I hated Kitakata Sensei. He was an incompetent teacher. An idiot who turned a blind eye to Mitsuru being tortured. But that changed when he suddenly showed up eight years later. And then he showed me that video. He said, Every bully in that video, they deserved to be punished. That it was the and only she, way to get And of course, she went along with it. You took him up on it. But you of, of all course. people should have known better. True. You're right about that. But she was blind by rage. Because it was her kid. It's an unconscionable act, no matter how deep your animosity runs. But Kitakata Sensei's words hung on. I couldn't get them out of my head. Yep, exactly. I saw for myself. I went to Kamrocha where I'd heard Kuai was working at a girls' bar. So you know, after Mitsuru jumped that day, Kuai came to me in tears to apologize. I hadn't seen him in all that time. If he'd frozen in place when he saw me, if he'd been the slightest bit apologetic, I might have been able to stay my hand. I take it he didn't do any of that. <laughs> right. He didn't even recognize my face. And that's hardly the worst part of it, actually. When he saw me, he took me for some bawdy cougar on the prowl for young men. If you've got the cash, I'll show you a good time, he said. All those tears he'd shed years earlier were a farce. But I knew that. Huh. Deep down, I'd already known that. That was it. That was the moment I lost all doubt about killing him. And as for those other kids who bullied Mitsuru, they should thank me they didn't share his fate. But that's why. That's why I don't feel like I have any sins to atone for. Every night, every night I pray he will wake up. What more can you ask me to endure? Kawana said something similar. Think you can repeat all that? This time, say it to her. Isn't that Sawa-san? You and Kawana can congratulate yourselves. You got vengeance on a monster. But what you're choosing not to see is that your actions have consequences for her. Exactly. It's vicious. I've seen this before. Justice for one at the cost of another. Someone innocent always pays the price. It's true. I won't. I won't just sit here and watch as history <clears throat> tries to repeat itself. This phone isn't being traced by anyone. So, if you have a change of heart, just give me a call before you turn yourself in. Yeah, hopefully she actually does. I mean, I understand where she's coming from because I have a kid and everything. And... That's all I had to say. It would be hard not to do something, back, but at the same time, it's like you can't just... That's when you become an animal, is when you just decide to take vengeance, vengeance or revenge on yourself like that, where you're just going to do it to somebody without thinking about the consequences. Like Sawa Sensei died because of, because of her and Kawana. So yeah, that's kind of a... It's like a slippery slope conundrum type thing. Right here, you okay, young Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go I'm talk, gonna to, go talk Kawana. to Kawana. Need to tell him I met with Reiko Kusamoto. Kusamoto. He's gonna be pissed, you know? Yeah, he's, gonna he's try to rip not gonna be... <laughs> That's true. So you might want to sit this one out. 
You sure? Cause, uh, yeah, this might not be very good. On that. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't want to deal with him. With him. Yeah, this is not gonna be. This is not gonna be a fun conversation. It's a good thing we're right there. Yeah, he's not gonna be very happy. And of course, Kwana needs to pay for what he's done too. And what did I just do? Did I go? Did I not go down the right street? Oh yeah, you gotta go upstairs. I went the wrong. I went the wrong way. Yeah, this is not gonna go good. Let's see if I can find him. Whoa! That was a terrible idea. It's a good thing I went to cutscenes. Well, look who we have here. Haven't seen your mug in a while. It's only been two or three days. Where's Kawana? Hmm, how should I put this? Would you freak out if he was right behind you? You know, this kind of shit is why you get on my nerves. Couldn't we have done this by phone? I just came from seeing Reiko Kusumoto. I told her to turn herself in for murdering Kawai five years ago. You what? What did she have to say about that? I knew he was going to freak. She had to atone for. Of course not. Look, what do you think you're doing? Her part in this is done. Don't drag her back into it. Yeah. This isn't yours to finish. You would I just let Sao-sensei stay collateral damage. How do you think her folks feel? They probably think you killed their daughter. They don't know why, or if justice will be served. Do they have to suffer like that? All without even knowing the truth? Would Sawa sensei want that? You talk about justice, but she keeps getting left out. You aren't even trying when it comes to her. Well, at least Yagami is the one that gets to say what he wants this time. any more pain, I will never forgive you. That's exactly why I didn't tell you I was going to meet her. Listen, Yagami. She hides it well, but she's never gotten over the fact Mitsuru tried to jump to his death. And she's not sure how to feel about killing Kawai. Unlike me. If she was anything like you, I would have pushed her harder to confess. There's no evidence that she killed Kawai. He simply vanished from Kamurocho, and the police didn't even know about it. Besides, there's no case without a corpse. Point being, she'll never be Isn't charged. Is that the body, though, that he has on ice? Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say they know that he has the body on ice. Even if she did turn herself in, the police wouldn't know what to do with her. Don't think for a second that you're getting a pass here. You've I know killed, you got what, the body. seven people now? Do you even hesitate anymore? You got proof? Running around making baseless accusations. You sure you were a real fucking lawyer? <laughs> My colleagues and comrades are getting ready to appeal a Horace case. Your actions are going to be put under a microscope. I wouldn't even call that bad news. I want the world to know their bullies are getting what they're due. And by then, I'll probably be going by a different name, maybe even a different look. You're just gonna keep doing this? Did Sawa Sensei sacrifice mean nothing to you? Is that the only thing keeping you around? Truth be told, I don't think exposing everything is even in Sawa's best interest. What? Sawa Kun herself felt guilty. I just sent you the proof. What is this? An audio file? After Ahara-san lost in court, she called me. I recorded our conversation. Toshiro Kun came running to the roof. His face was pretty swollen. And a few minutes later, a student named Mikoshiba came up looking for him. I'll never forget the fear I saw in Toshiro Kun's face. He told me about everything the teasing, the beating, the theft. How nobody was on his side. And yet, I had to deny all this in front of an entire courtroom. They said there was no hope, that I was the only witness with no proof whatsoever. Hmm. Believe me, I never wanted to do that. That's terrible. 
Sawa Kun's testimony in court was false, and she was racked with guilt over it. Yep, we knew that. Your first thought was to record it? When she was at her most vulnerable? He's a psycho. And then I played it for Ihara san. He had the right to know the real reason his son killed himself. Huh. All you did was light the fires of vengeance in Ahara's heart because you didn't want to be alone. You know, I've heard that bullying is almost instinctive. That's why people who do it never stop. I mean, think about it. Would you stop cleaning a toilet just because it'll get filthy again? Somebody's always got to get his hands dirty. And that somebody's gonna be you? If it means I can prevent another Mitsuru Kusumoto, yes, I will keep killing. These bastards who prey on the defenseless must be punished for all to see. I wish the law would do its job. Because deep down, I don't want to do any of this. I understand what you're saying, but you're taking it too far. Just stop, Tawana. If you really want to stop me, you're gonna have to kill me and call it justice. I thought you guys were gonna start another fight. It was a bitch cleaning up the mess last time. <laughs> Next time I go up against him, it won't be just a few scratches. Ouch. Well, yeah. when that time comes, take it anywhere but here. Yeah, he deserves a big old whooping for that. Go call today. Yeah. That was. Yeah, that's. Oh, come on. What was that? Yeah, pretty emotional. There's a lot of pieces being moved on the chessboard right now. A lot of things being moved around. It'll be interesting to see where everything goes from here. I was like, seriously, why am I going in this little area? How hard is it to get out of, out of this place? Did I go the wrong way or not? Maybe I gotta go around this way. It's easy. It's not bad going in, it's just hard going out. He's all staring at me like, what are you doing? Like I'm getting stuck on a chair right now, that's what I feel. And then I went the wrong way. Yeah, I know exactly where that is. Yeah, buddy. Come on. How hard is it to get out of this place? Get myself get myself all turned around. I don't know why. Oh my heck, I feel like an it I feel like a moron right now. There we go. Goodness gracious. Okay, that was a cool move, even though it was being done to me. I liked it. That was sick. I really liked that move. His name was Fan? Really, guys? Interesting. Um, let's see. 20,000. Let's see what I can upgrade here. Borderline alcoholic. I guess we'll do that one. We're getting close. What is that? 30? God almighty. Can't go anywhere. I'm getting frustrated. I just beat these assholes. At least they look like the same ones I fought already. I can't even get over to Yokohama just because these guys are in the way. Like, 
Holy cow, man, this is getting ridiculous. It's annoying. It's like, all I want to do is just get over there to... Gosh, maybe I should stand. I'm gonna stand right here and hurry and get across the street because it's like no every single time. Yeah, the two fights in like 10 seconds. So come on, guys. All I want to do is get down here to Yokohama 99 and relax before we. What was that? What was that one? Huh. Interesting. I thought she was in... Wait a minute. Is that the one that I thought was going to be in Camarocho? That's the one I thought was going to be in Camarocho, huh? What in the world? So I still can't do that side case, that's alright. Yeah, we'll rest on the couch. Hello? Hello? It's Shirosaki. Are you in Yokohama again, Yagami-san? Yeah. yeah. Is this about this Ahara's about trial? trial? Yes. yes. Regarding, Regarding the appeal. The, appeal. the prosecution yes. says they want to consult with us. Off the record. Off the record? What do you mean? They want to discuss with the judge beforehand whether or not Ahara's murder footage is admissible evidence. The video has gone viral, of course, and nobody's really sure how to handle it. Is the prosecution really going to hold the line on it being a deep fake? That's quite possible. Which is why we're meeting today in the courthouse conference room. I'm sorry for the short notice, but could you join us? Of course. I'll be there. Thank you very much. No need to rush. There's still plenty of time. Just be sure you're there, please. So now we're going to go meet with Ihara and hopefully we can get it to the point where he'll be charged. Hopefully he'll be charged with murder. Simple as that. So that's a pocket cafe they're talking about over here in Ijinchu. For some reason I thought she was going to be... For some reason I thought she was going to be in, uh, whatchamacallit. In Camarocho. So that's weird. Huh. Okay. That works for me then. And at least we can, at least then we can meet with her. That's the one that we saved. Uh, it wasn't really on video, but there was this, these guys that were creeping on the, on the lady. And I mean, we had met with her. We had, on the first judgment game, we had actually like dated her before, so. What are you doing in Jinshu? Huh, <laughs> that was funny. She's like, what? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that web design place. Well, I've been put in charge of a project for a client here. Oh. I've been working from this cafe. Yeah, especially lately. Huh? Oh, well, probably. She's, that seemed kind of weird three years ago. Sukino and I, ah, we ended up becoming more than friends, yep. She started distancing herself from me for some reason. Our schedules n never lined up and we, I thought she didn't like me anymore, but... Huh. 
you'd like to, Yagami. I'd enjoy it if we get together again sometime. Yeah, she's acting really weird, though. Huh? Not at all. That'd be wonderful. That was kind of weird her face, though. Um. I'm sorry. I'm sorry what? for everything. What? <laughs> I'm sorry for everything, and then she's. Dang, she really booked it. And she didn't even take her laptop. She just ran. Unless that's one of the laptops you can get inside the cafe or something. I don't know. That was different. Does that mean if I come in here, she'll actually be there or not? Okay, she's still there. That was weird, though, that she ran off on me. <laughs> that was strange. Hold on. Yeah, I'm just wondering what's going on with her. It's kind of strange. Maybe I've got a gift for her or something, some for her somewhere on me. I don't know if I do, do I? So I need to have a gift. So it looks like I need to have a gift for her first, and then I can. Dang, I was hoping that. Okay. I would assume that she'd probably like something out of the machine, like the claw machine. A lot of the. A lot of the women on here do, so maybe I can, maybe I can do something like that. Where'd that taxi go? There it is. I'm gonna go check out, I'm gonna go see about that other lady that's in Seiro. See if I can talk to her. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's getting, like I said, I keep saying it over and over again, but the story is ramping up. It's getting kind of, it's getting crazier and crazier. So hopefully we can get these people, get them in trouble for what they've done, punish, like finally get them punished, but we'll talk to you later.